Okay, let's continue with logarithms and let's take a look at solving exponential equations using uh, logarithms and also the change of base rule. Now, we've already gone over the change of base rule in class, so I'm not going to go ahead and explain it or show any examples of it because I think you'll be able to handle it. But let's just go ahead and just look at it once more, just to be on the safe side, and say that the log base A of B is going to be equal to the log base C of B divided by the log base C of A. Okay, and there's your change of base form because the thing that's changing, of course, is the base. Now, of course, the reason why we wanted to, to use the change of base form is because if you want to evaluate things on your, if you want to evaluate logarithms as decimals, decimal approximations, then you need to be able to do that on your calculator, and your calculator can only deal with log base 10 or log base e. So if you have a base, a different base other than 10 or e, you can't do that on your calculator. How do you do it on your calculator? You need to change the base so that it's either 10 or e to come up with that decimal approximation. Okay, so there you go. That's basically it. Now, remember that there's a couple of ways that we want to go ahead and solve exponential equations. And we said that one, if possible, if you can get the same base on both sides of the equality, like this, then all you have to do then is compare the exponents and say that the exponents, of course, are equal and then solve from there. Now, if you do not have the same base and you cannot get the same base on both sides of the equation, then, of course, the only way that we can solve for, let's say, for example, for this box, is just going to be changing it to its equivalent logarithmic form. Okay, so let's just take a look at an example of this situation here. Uh, let's say, for example, we have this equation. We say 20e to the 10x minus 1 is equal to 4. Now, of course, we cannot get the same base on both sides because this side has e, and there's no way that we're going to get e onto the other side there. So, let's go ahead then and solve for e to the 10x first. So I move the 1 over and get 5, then divide by 20 and I get 1 fourth. Once I get to this step over here, I'm here. Okay. In order to now go ahead and solve for the 10x, in order to get to the x, I need to go ahead and change it to its logarithmic form, and I come up with 10x is equal to the natural log of 1 over 4. Now, one thing that I'm hoping that you'll be able to see as well is that this is the same thing as negative natural log of 4. If you're not sure about how I'm getting that, please ask in class the next time that we meet. There's a lot of different ways that you can actually go ahead and prove all. I can think of two off the top of my head to show that that's true. Okay, so we have the negative natural log of 4, and then after that, of course, we just divide by 10, and you come up with negative 1 tenth natural log of 4, which is probably going to be the simplest form of your answer. And if you wanted to go ahead and find what that is in a de equivalent decimal approximation form, you can go ahead and put that into your calculator without the need of the change of base rule. Okay, so there you go. You have the change of base rule here in order to evaluate logarithms on your calculator. We have two different methods to solve for exponential equations. One is to look for the same base, and the other is to go ahead and use logarithms. Okay? And there you go, here's an example of that. So let's see how you do with solving exponential equations using logarithms, and see if you can apply the change of base rule accurately. Alright, so we'll see you the next time in class. See you later. Bye-bye.